him down back. I'm supposed to be doing other things, but start watching paint videos on YouTube, and next thing you know, you want to pour paint. I had said before, uh, bottle bottom is my one of my favorite techniques, the favorite probably. And I was going to do a bottle bottom at least once a week to keep myself learning the technique, and I haven't been doing it. Turtles and other stuff keeping me from it, but I'm going to try it now real quick. Just real quick video and go to bed. Um, this is the hint bottle, I think. One, two, three, four. Seven, seven petals, some different greens, and I'm going to add some King's Gold, a little bit in there, it'll be good for the very end on top. Uh, first color is Liquitec Basics, um, Phalo Cyanine Green, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and start with that. Oh, I put a base coat down of white, and I did spray... Well, it doesn't seem like it. My um, bottle bottom with the WD-40 silicone spray. Uh, Grumbucker turquoise green. Spraying that thing, it sure didn't come out right. And this is why we practice. They seem to be a little off center, or it's just the way I'm pouring the paint tonight. We go ahead and act as if we are. Hmm. I know this part of my thing is. Level, so let's see if I can move you and zoom you in a little bit. There we go. I think. Oh, there we go. All right, I'll just bring it a little closer. We'll deal with the off-centeredness. Let's keep it going. That's going to stretch out too far. This is Craft Smart Green Teal. And I'm going to use some the titanium white. It's got iridescent and a little bit of gloss in it. Man, that had a lot of turquoise green. Let's try to remedy that. Remedy that this time. Well, these paints have been sitting too long. I don't know. Go again. That color. Try and get this one stronger this time. It's a small canvas, so I'm not really going to need all that much paint. But I want the colors to show. It sounds chunky in there. You know, I uh, had my paints higher up. I just moved them back down with the heater, I think. Um, they might have been getting been kept too warm. This will be the last squeeze of it.
slowly, slowly it goes. With pretty rings on top, though. This is a pretty, pretty green, turquoise green. Look at me, look at me. I said I didn't want any strong amount of that color in. Look at me. I love the bottle bottom. I love the bottle bottom pores. The only thing I do find hard is sometimes gripping them to get them off. All right. I'm going to end with some of this Apple Barrel King's Gold. It's the Macenta. down. I always want to help it along. I don't like to waste that paint in the middle. I don't want mud either. I don't like the paint to waste. So I'm just going to try this this time. I've never done this before. A little stripey, stripey at the end, maybe. Yeah, this paint's acting like I, oops, like I didn't spray my bottle, but I did. Go down, don't be wasted. Might not be the best move. I'm gonna add a little more. Just kind of finished watching Jeannie Marie's Christmas wreath. Man, those of you who can edit, who can edit, <laughs> who have the tools, I'm so jealous. Somebody teach me, teach me. <laughs> I'm probably going to add a little bit more of that yellow in the middle anyway. Ooh. Paying attention in the middle, I'm already running off, but that's okay. Just get this thing off. Come off nicely for me, please. Nope, it's going to be a brat. Doing it this way never works out. to the middle. I'm going to cheat a little bit on my center. Give it a yellow line to come into. But I don't want to stick. I want my skewer. Usually I'll do a little puddle of paint in the middle, but I was telling myself, no, 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 you can't pour paint. I said, I'm going to pour paint. So, I should have done that. So it kind of went against me. It was a busy day at work, so I really need this. I printed 900 donor letters. 
when I went into work on Sunday before the auction, I, uh, I printed 500 of them, a third of them, so I finished them today. Our board had their meeting tonight. We're going to be writing notes on them, so I had to get them done. And I did. I always do. Okay, I like the yellow with the white around. I like how that's working. Just torch this a little bit. You see some air bubbles. I'm gonna paint away. I haven't been using really a lot of base paint. I've been kind of going straight to the canvas. I had some huge air bubbles on my base. All right. I'm just trying to go this way. That center's moving fast, darn it. Hopefully I'll be able to put it all back. Sometimes I wonder the amount that I mess with it, if that, you know, when I pull it in, if that's what makes my centers go. Kind of squiggly over there. Let some of this paint go off. Forget that that kind of ruins my design. You can have wispies of blue, huh? You can have wispies of blue. My colors got really stretched out on this end. And I'm not big on the white negative space, so this one has a look at that. Maybe try to blow that out a little bit with the straw. But see if I can bring that just a little bit more over. Stretching does bring the cells out though. This is so wonky. I'm just going to take it back to this corner.
It's like a yellow chandelier. <laughs> it a little bit. Mm. Pull out these sides a little bit completely over on them but I'm gonna torch it a little bit first straw. Oh, too strong, but that works. I know, Christina, I should just get your airbrush. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, see, there's a hole. Blow that end out maybe a little more. Turn this around. Well, that's better. All the way down. The sides. Hopefully it'll drip good. Did this one already, but it's blank over there. Kind of bit.
Well, really got some bald spots over here I need to do, take care of. Okay, make sure I don't have green on my finger. Not that it matters, you know, if it's got the same colors, which blends fine. I just don't want it to look um, completely rubbed in. canvas of my straw. Did you guys see me do that? Oops. <laughs> I am not good with the straw thing. Maybe I should just buy that airbrush. I spent all my money on the auction though. <laughs> You guys don't need to see me dab my corners and everything. Let me try to turn it around. I'm going to fix up some of these ends, but let me give you a look. Give you a look see. my mixed greens. Green teal, turquoise green. I've got a big hole in my glove. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. If you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, it'll notify you when I upload another video. Click like and share. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. We'll be doing a paint, a couple of paintings giveaway. Depending how well I do or not do at that make affair this weekend. But thank you so much for watching. If you leave a comment, I'd love to see them. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the painting. Especially if you love the color green. And if you love bottom bottom pores. As I do. Show a dried version of this in another future video. And yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good night.